He's going to run out of play for another wall throw. But there he is! Saints are promoted to the Women's Championship for the first time of asking. New players, new league, new program full time. So we've, we're having to adjust and we're continually adjusting even as the season rolls on. We're continually adjusting to everything that's new, but then every game we play is a different opponent that we've not necessarily played before. So it's a very different league. It's, you know, there's more travel. The teams are, are like, stronger on a week-to-week -week basis. You know, we've played well against some of these clubs in, in one-off games, but now it's every week. What I've always wanted is to be a professional footballer, you know, I've, I've worked hard for it, that, you know, that is why we play, um, that's why I play, so um, to be given that opportunity was a brilliant feeling. I think everyone understands that we're creating an environment here where everyone has to be at their best every day and I think that's the way we're going to develop. We dreamed about being a full-time professional footballer so it was just a surreal feeling driving in on the first day back. Pre-season was tough, they wanted us to be fitter and faster than last season to compete in this league so it was definitely tough but it was good. We knew we had to recruit players that had the experience of championship, even some WSL experience where we could, because you're always looking a year, you know, a year or two ahead. So what do you need to be able to compete at this at this level? It's experience. You know, we've got a young squad, we've got a lot of players that have come through our pathway and who give us that real um, understanding of how we want to play. But then we needed to bring experience in and you look at like um, Katie Wilkinson, you look at Winnie. Megan Wynn, um, Sophie Harris, you know, to name three. They're players that we've brought in to, to add the experience that we, were, we needed to s understand what the league's about, but also to support and, and, I suppose, mentor a little bit the younger players and the players that have been with us for, you know, from under 10s, under 12s onwards, to mentor them about what this league is really about. They're good footballers um, and they bring a lot on the pitch, but they're good people as well and they've fitted in really well to the team, so um, it makes us a better collective. they brought experience and then they brought a bit of energy as well. Initiation songs, so quite a memorable one was Pages. Um, and I think it just shows that everybody fit in really well straight away because they had the confidence to just stand up and sing a song in front of everyone. Talk us through uh, Paige's initiation song. Was it was it a, a great belter or what was the song? Do you remember? Um, so she was bigging it up the whole week, saying, "I'm a really really good singer. My initiation song is going to be amazing." And then Girl on Fire starts playing, and the voice does not match Alicia Keys's at all. <laughs> it was just about setting the standards, so we have like a baseline to look towards, really. And then can we go above and beyond? So as a team, we don't want to. We don't want to be in a relegation battle, we want to establish our place in the championship this season. We don't want to be a team struggling, so that's something for us, I think. We want to be confident in the league, we want to be confident we can take three points against the top teams and confident that we can fight for results when needed. Tottenham are the favourites, or have considered themselves favourites to go up, so uh, we knew it would be a tough test. It's not something new to us um, being underdogs since we've done it in the FA Cup, so I think almost that attitude going into it, but we also wanted to get those three points as well. We wanted to show that we could be one of those teams fighting at the top as well. To be at home in the first game was brilliant because you, you want to have that experience early in the season, so the first game in, you know, moving into the second, third game, because when we, our next home game, the players will be more prepared for what it feels like. It's all part of the match day experience, but then you've got to settle into the game. As we walked through on Friday, we've seen all our faces and it's just made it feel a bit more like home for us. It just feels like you should be there and it gave us that bit more confidence, I think. 
We've been at Totten before, St Mary's has been more one-off games, but that's just maybe settled the feeling a bit more that this is our home ground now and it's really nice. St Mary's is always a, a really nice feeling. It's surreal when you turn around and you see the amount of fans we got as well. Tough, we started quite well. We had a few chances, we had a few shots, we had a few corners. And then they started to get on top a little bit. We conceded the penalty, which can be debated if it was a penalty or not, but at the end of the day, the referee's given the decision, you've got to get on with it. And we just had to try and get ourselves back into the game after that and just have the right mindset. I think you're always disappointed to go behind. Um, you know, you look, you look back and you can easily look at things that didn't happen in the game or decisions that didn't go your way. But I think we were probably a little bit naive We have to make better decisions with the emotional control that we need to start to think about and show during games. We've got 45 minutes, we can still come back and we can still win this game. There's nothing to say we can't. It's just being clinical, taking our chances and relaxing on the ball. <laughs> to concede three minutes into the second half is always quite disheartening. I've just been tracking my play and we just come together in the box. I haven't won the ball, she hasn't won the ball, so it's just been a bit of a... It's been given again. I'm, I'll learn from it. It's something that you always learn from. I always have a feeling when Kayla's going to pull out a save, so I wasn't too stressed when I saw her taking the run-up because I just thought Kayla's got this, so thanks, Kayla. <laughs> Obviously, it just didn't work out on the day. For me personally, I was really down, and I think the rest of the team were as well, because you are on such a high with all the excitement, the first game of the season, the championship, like you had everyone there supporting you, home game, and then we lost. We did respond well. I thought we were certainly in the ascendancy at the back end of the game. But there were elements of our game that you go, you know, we had to sit down afterwards as a, as a technical staff and go, right, what's missing? What could we have done better? What did we do well? And we kind of went, well, there's a couple of areas that we're, where we're really exposed. So we have to look at how do we set up now to ensure that those areas we're not being exposed to. The championship is a hard, challenging league um, and we have to be prepared for that week in, week out. Collectively, I think we needed a bit more belief within the team. Like everyone's looking at each other, thinking this is not how we normally play. We weren't executing the game plan to how we should have done it. We knew that if we played the way we can play, we were good enough to get back into the game. At half time, we chatted through a couple of bits. Um, I don't know if I should tell you what exactly was said. <laughs> I would never question the effort and the attitude and the intensity of our players to perform, but sometimes it's just, you've got to be better going out for the second half. Our attitude at half-time to come out and think, hang on, the game's not over yet, which we, maybe we didn't do versus Charlton, but again, we've learned from that and we've gone, okay, well, against Lewis, we're now gonna take our chances. And that was the difference between the two. We took the game to Lewis a bit more in the second half. The goal was coming. I think we did have a few chances before the goal as well. But yeah, great finish from Ella and then she, you can see she runs to get the ball straight away. Like the mindset was, we, we're back in the game now, but we haven't got anything out of the game yet. We need another one. Winning to lose, lose back into Wilco, and then 
I've run from a half, I've seen the play building up and I'm thinking, OK, I've got to be a striker now. So I was a bit, where do I put the ball? But thankfully it's gone in, so... Um, but straight away I was just like, right, well that's 2-1 now, get the ball back, let's go and get another. We can win it now. Like It was that belief again that we could go and, and get three points. We've got a point now, let's celebrate this goal, let's build a bit of momentum around this. So it was a brilliant finish from Raf. She said um, to me before the game about she just wants one shot in the warm-up because um, she has a feeling, she had a good feeling, so she put that one away in the warm-up and then she put that one away in the game as well, so brilliant for her. And what one word do you think sums up that team performance against Lewis? Oh, one word. Um, character. I'd say resilient. We talk a lot with the players about resilience and comebacks and being in a position that they've not been in before, losing a game, drawing a game. You know, we haven't really experienced that for some of the players. So again, the debrief and everything around that is like how much we've come on in terms of character, in terms of resilience, to be 2-0 down, to come back to 2-all and still look like the team that could probably have nicked it in the last sort of five, ten minutes. We've got the first points on the board and that's something we want to build on again. How does that performance bode for the rest of the season? I think it's definitely got us on the front foot now. Charlton was just learning, adapting to the championship. Lewis, all right, here we are, a bit of a statement, this is what we can do. It's the resilience shown in the second half against Lewis has now said to, you know, that's where you've got to be. That's a level and that's a standard we've got to have week in, week out. So it, I'm looking forward to seeing the, the preparation, being around the preparation, and then what we bring onto the pitch.